Hi guys, Victor Gamov is here. Welcome back to this channel. In my previous video, I shared some news that I decided to quit Confluent and many of you reached out in the comments and suggesting what I should do next or where I should go next. I spent substantial number of years in uh, developer relations and developer experience, so it would be wasteful for me not to continue to grow in this department. And in this video, I'm finally revealing what is gonna be next for me. Let's get to it. Roll the intro. Welcome back to this channel and um, I'm not in my studio now. I am in the field as a developer advocate should be. So, no, I'm essentially, I'm taking some time to reflect on the past and relax a little bit, recharge. And I genuinely didn't plan to record this video. But after reading comments, after uh, reading your DMs, messages in LinkedIn, in uh, my Instagram, in my Twitter, I think I, I owe you something, folks. And I think uh, you deserve a little bit of uh, explanation. All this uh, reaction from my network, I think it's the 100% uh, manifestation of the motto or credo that I learned from my friend Leonid Golnik is that it doesn't matter who you know, it doesn't matter what you know, it matters who know what you know. And uh, you folks, you folks make me extremely grateful for all these messages. So this street is becoming a little bit noisy because of wind. So why don't we just, you know, step into my office and I'll talk about the things with you in a more intimate and more quiet setting. <sighs> All right, so let's get to those juicy details I know you folks have been waiting for. Now, my previous companies, they share very similar, similar profile. So first of all, I was working on distributed systems. It was uh, data systems or messaging systems like. Second thing is that open source. All the companies either contributed to open source or leading some of the open source projects. And the third thing is commercial side of things, to build thriving successful business out of the distributed systems and open source. A couple of years ago, the fourth component started emerging, which is cloud, ability, to run and operate successfully um, these distributed systems in the cloud and provide this as a service. It makes me thinking, okay, so the, there is one component that makes those distributed systems distributed, right? It's a network, it's a connectivity, it's actual thing that allows bytes to go back and forth uh, between those systems. And uh, today I'm thrilled and excited to share that I'm joining Kong, which is cloud connectivity company as a principal developer advocate. Kong is known as a makers of popular API gateway, but there are many open source projects where the Kong engineers either leading or contributing to. So Kong itself, API gateway platform is open source, uh, there is a Kuma, which is a service mesh. There is a Kong ingress controller for Kubernetes. There is Insomnia, which is uh, API development and the testing tool. And there are many other projects that you can find in the Kong GitHub. And I personally just cannot wait to learn more from the community, to know your folks better, what you're building, what kind of systems, what kind of problems you have. Um, that's my goal as a developer advocate to come to you to listen and make the product better and make you more productive running your services in the cloud. Are you excited? I'm sure I am. And uh, please let me know in the comments what you wanted to learn. I will continue to create some of the awesome content that help you to learn Kong, Kubernetes in the cloud. As for now, my name is Viktor Gamov and as always, have a nice day.